The last British resident to be held in Guantanamo Bay is to be released to the UK. Shake Ahmed, who's 46, was detained in Afghanistan in 2001 and then transferred to Guantanamo, where he's been held without charge ever since. He's been the focus of a campaign for his release. He's likely to arrive in the UK, where he has a wife and children, within a month. Our Home Affairs correspondent Daniel Sanford reports. Act with us like a human being, not like slaves. The angry voice of Shaka Ama, the last British resident held without trial at Guantanamo Bay, recorded by an American documentary team two years ago. You cannot walk, not even half a meter without being chained. Is that a human being? That's a treatment of an animal. He has a British wife and four children living in London, including a 13-year-old son he has never seen, filmed here several years ago. The news that Shaka Ama will be freed was welcomed by the Foreign Secretary. The British government has always questioned the legality of Guantanamo, while fellow detainees warned that he faced a difficult period of adjustment. Shaka has spent a great deal of his time in custody in solitary confinement, that is, um, completely isolated from any other prisoners, let alone any other human beings. He's also been subjected to um, forced feedings because of the hunger strikes he's been involved in and initiated. Shaka Ama was captured in Afghanistan in December 2001, soon after 9-11, and handed to the Americans. They accused him of being a member of al-Qaeda and a close associate of Osama bin Laden and being close to the London radical clerics Abu Qatada and Abu Hamza. He was moved to Guantanamo in February 2002. He says he was in Afghanistan to start a school and claims that shortly after being captured, he was beaten in the presence of British intelligence officers. Flown from Afghanistan to Guantanamo Bay, he was one of the first prisoners in the infamous Camp X-Ray. Inevitably, given his presence in Afghanistan in 2001, counter-terrorism detectives and the security service MI5 will take an interest in Shaka Ama when he returns to the UK. But in the past, men coming back from Guantanamo have been only briefly questioned and then allowed to get on with their lives. Based on the files that the US have on Shaka Arma that have since come in the public domain, I expect the British security services to be monitoring Shaka Arma very closely. But that's all still to come. Tonight, Shaka Arma's children said they can't believe they might finally see their father after nearly 14 years. Daniel Sanford, BBC News, at Scotland Yard.